What's up everyone? Welcome back for the next race. Alright, so gonna be trying out this car for the first time, so see how I do and all that good shit, so yeah, let's get this motherfucking show on the road. Oh wow, okay. That did not go nearly as well as I was hoping it would. Already damaging up the car a bit, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, I am still not used to the way the AIs race in this game. They race a lot differently, I feel like, than they did in GT Sport. They're kind of honestly bigger douchebags in this game than they were in GT Sport, I feel like. In GT Sport, I feel like they were a lot more polite, but in this game, they'll just, like, plow your ass over. Like, I've had that several times, just doing, like, random races and shit, where, like, literally on the first turn, I've had AIs fucking spin me. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Tried to pick it up a little too quick there. Again, I gotta use my memory from GT3 to help me navigate the track a bit. I feel like I'm better at the regular version of this track rather than the reverse version of this track. For whatever reason, I feel like the reverse version of this track is a lot more difficult. part coming up always fucks me up every time. Alright, actually kind of nailed it that time. That was good. Alright, alright. Good shit. Much better that time, much better. Shit, I fucked that up again. See, like that. They'll just, like, straight up fucking run into you. I feel like, the, again, the AIs in GT Sport were a lot more polite than, than the AIs in this game. But, yeah, like, I swear the AIs in this game just have no fucking problem running your ass over. And I race a lot differently than the AIs race. And I race a lot differently than, like, your typical driver. My style is very, like, different. It also involves a lot of running into the walls because I'm retarded. <laughs> oh, shit. Speaking of being retarded, I almost completely fucking blew that turn. And I had no problem running into him there because he ran into me earlier, so fuck him. God, why am I racing like such ass right now? I mean, obviously, it's due to a lack of talent, but... Alright, let's see if I can outspeed him. Giving this thing everything she's got. Looks like we're good, alright. A little sloppy, but not bad. Actually, the car handled pretty well. I can't really complain about it. 
The only thing there was just the fact that I suck ass at driving, but... Yeah. Car itself actually handled very well. Not loose at all. Sometimes Porsches can be a bit loose, like the Porsche 911 cars. Like, those ones can be kind of loose sometimes, but... This one was, like, very tight. I was impressed. So, yeah, this one has a very, like, basic uh, Sega-themed paint scheme. But I came across that one, and I'm like, ooh, that's fun. For those of you who don't know, my very first ever video game system was the Sega Genesis. It's actually still the very same exact Sega Genesis system that I still have to this day. I mean, you want to talk about a console that was well-built, that really withstood the test of time, that is the fucking Sega Genesis. Because I've had that system for fucking 20 years. And I played the hell out of that thing when I was a kid. And the fucking thing still works to this day. It's impressive. As far as overall durability is concerned, it is the most impressive system that I've ever seen. I'd say actually the second most impressive one was my dad's uh, Wii. Because he still has that system. It's not set up right now but he still has that system and it still fucking works and I played the hell out of that system too but yeah Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was the very first video game I ever played but yeah a lot of the games that I have on the Je uh, Sega Genesis were some of the very first video games that I ever played like you know uh, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage 2, the original Captain America and the Avengers, Madden 92. Um, but yeah, those were some of the very first video games that I ever played. It's really what, you know, set me down this path of gaming, which inevitably led me to become a YouTuber. And uh, that is one thing that I, that is one decision that I certainly have not regretted. In fact, it's been the one uh, one decision I can look back on and say, this is something that I did right. Yeah, I fucking blew that turn both times. I swear to God, I really, I really think I do a lot better as far as like the overall racing is concerned when I'm actually not doing commentary on videos. <coughs> it's actually, again, it's a lot more difficult to like play video games and do commentary at the same time than you guys would actually think. So you would think that it's not, you know, something that's that big of a deal, but it actually is. Something that, you know, takes a lot of getting used to. But yeah, luckily, I did what I needed to do in those last turns, which was good, because I feel like that other dude was driving a faster car than mine. So, yeah, still took home the win. All right, well, guys, that'll do for that one. Peace out.